Ah, uh, yes, Wednesday, April 5th. Morning. How you doing? We're into Holy Week. It's the middle of Holy Week. You know how it is. And uh, the Easter commemorations and celebrations are on the way this weekend. It's, it's going to be an interesting weekend. I hope you're going to be in church. Morning, SVG. Yeah, before, before them utter a water man and out of them mouth, you know. About that's good Buzak. advice isn't that Agana good advice Buzak. i hope you're gonna be at church on the weekend well, morning morning <clears throat> yinka. morning 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 mm. you see some people don't like good advice you know Ooh. but it's okay i'll give the good advice anyway mm. so if you see him out and about remind him that i asked him to go to church on um easter sunday or saturday I am beautiful, man. <laughs> man and Chevrolet. How can't are you doing? It's Wednesday. Down. What What do you say? It's It's um the middle of the week, someday, so it's in home. Someday, someday, someday. Yeah, someday. middle of the it's week. Oh, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the fifth of April. April going fast already. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What? Why mm -hmm. April? Like it's April Fools. April <laughs> trying to prank us. Yeah. But, anyway, we got yeah. an interesting program for you today. So mm -hmm. let's get going. Lisa, what you got for us? Man and SVG, your word of the day is don't judge. Life is hard enough. Choose kindness. You don't know what burdens people carry, but we can help them unload their baggage if we assume less and open our minds and hearts more. Instead of judging someone for what he's done or how he looks, try instead to understand a person. Put yourself in their shoe. When someone makes a mistake, they're having a critical learning experience and they may even learn something from it. If you judge them, you take away their opportunity to learn and grow. For more inspiration, you can find me on Instagram at Lisa Adana. Have yourself an amazing day. Yeah, somehow I feel like Lisa talking directly to Yinka this morning. Don't <laughs> judge me. <laughs> I'm not being judgmental. I, I'm just saying that don't judge, you know, that's don't an interesting perspective people. she had this nah morning. Hey, nah hey. It was don't advice. Nah I advised you to nah go judge. to church on the weekend. You had the, the last word she said, if you judge. Person, I advised you to go you to church on the weekend. You take away opportunity to learn and grow. I've been judged all my life. You see, I haven't been able to grow. <laughs> Can we get a live shot of Kingston? You all need to stop judging me. Let's see what <laughs> Kingston looking like this morning. Listen. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Yinka, pull yourself together. <laughs> Look at Kingston. Oh my God. <clears throat> it's so <clears throat> sweet. Oh. No, I was I was already. Yeah, I was ready for Kingstown this morning. You know, uh, it is it's, zero it's, degrees it's Celsius a, it's, in it's Toronto a beautiful this sight outside. Look at um, that. All yeah. these snowboards that are flying in from the cold come to Vinci. Yeah. This is what we're working with. <laughs> this is what we're working with right now. What's the yes. weather looking like? So um, the synopsis as of 6 a.m. this morning is that a ridge of high pressure is the dominant feature. It is forecasted to be fair to partly cloudy and slightly hazy with a chance of isolated showers. We have no weather advisories or warnings this morning and winds are east northeast to east at 15 to 30 kilometers per hour sea conditions are slight to moderate in open waters with swells from 1.0 to 2.0 meters as we said the uh on today partly cloudy skies with a low chance of isolated showers during the day and night on thursday there is an increase in cloud cover and a chance of a few showers as weak unstable conditions move over the islands a moderate breeze will follow from the east at 20 kilometers per hour 
seas will be slight to moderate in open waters with swells peaking at 1.0 on the western coast and 2.0 meters on the eastern coast. In addition, a slight haze intrusion is possible within this forecast period. Mm. All right, so that's what we have to look forward to for today and tomorrow in terms of the weather. Yeah, the sea, yeah it's, um, it's Easter time. Yeah. And it's particularly with the seas, you know, over the years, uh, ever since I knew myself, we've always had this, that Easter period. It, mm, we've had so many people that drown around Easter weekend. You know, people go mm -hmm. to the beach and so on. Um, some of those beaches we don't go to anymore, like right. Breakers, you know, when mm -hmm. I was a little boy, people used to go there a lot, yeah. had a lot of drownings. So and in any case, <laughs> the, the, the seas seem like they're going to be acting up a little bit, so yes. you want to be careful if you're yeah. going to go to the beach on this weekend. It's going to be a long weekend, you're going to mm -hmm. be tempted to go. Uh, be, be very cautious with that. We've always had, I don't know if it's an omen, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it's always yeah. tend to be around these at time when we have those drownings careful with that all right yes okay guys and uh the uh, let's find out what's trending now in the news we're gonna go to that mm -hmm. first up 2.3 million dollars mm -hmm. injection into the fisheries <coughs> sector yes. compliments the government and people of japan japan or japan yeah. as the french say japan <laughs> I don't know about that French. I don't know about that yeah, French saying. Um, but yes, um, so Japan has, and this would come in the for the procurement mm -hmm. of equipment. So it's not um, it's not raw cash. Yeah. Right. And uh, Japan and Saint Vincent and the Grenadines established relationships back in the nineteen eighties. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a long and time ago. Um, Japan has always had an interest in. Um, the fishing industry in St. Yeah. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yeah. Um, well, Japan is known internationally for their, their fishing sector. You yeah. Know, their, yeah. So yeah. It, it, it just makes sense that they mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. would, would help us in that regard. They've always yeah. done so. Yes. And you take up a little Tokyo, for mm -hmm. instance, and mm -hmm. their injection there, which has been pivotal yes. over the years, uh, yeah. the development of that fishery sector, um, fisheries complex, mm -hmm. etc. So, and here again, they're chipping in. Yes. And this is this is big. I mean, it is. Two point three million dollars <laughs> is a is a lot of money. It is. And it then, is. It although is it's a not lot of direct money. cash, but it's still right. You know, yes. It's this. It's just as good. Right. And US, uh, US dollars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And what I particularly like about this, um, this, you know, um, injection, and the relationship evolving is that they are going to help with the sargasm management yeah. managing big that. time so we i am really excited to see what um what's comes out happen? of this and what's going to happen yeah so yeah if That's they're really paying cool. people to go and clean that up you're going are you going to go yeah i'm going to go missing for a while from manning <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we may not you be able find, to see find me on the beach what? Eh? excuse me no, what? please. Oh, they they, don't, they have sargasm. professionals to handle these types of things. See seaweed, pick up seaweed. Next up. <laughs> Can you say that three times fast? Uh... All right. So uh, the National Public Library, they're hosting their week of activities. And the week runs up until tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 6th. Mm. Yes. Uh, so the theme for this week uh, is there's, there's more, more to, the, to story. the story. Yeah, right. That's an, that's, that's yeah. an interesting theme. I'll tell yeah. you why. Because we, we live in an age where uh, people have become so efficient of, at knowing the whole story mm -hmm. by just getting a little snippet of the actual story, mm -hmm. where people, <laughs> you know, people read the headline and know yes. the whole story. Yeah. Um, so that's interesting. Read, mm -hmm. you know, encouraging people to read because there is actually more to the story yes. um, than just the headline. Mm -hmm. and the, that's my interpretation of things anyway, but right. it, it really makes sense in the context of today's world. Mm -hmm. uh, 
So these activities are running until tomorrow. Until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And yes. um, you know, you, you want to encourage your children to be part of this as well. It's mm -hmm. Easter break as well, so they have time. Yes. And um, uh, on on the fourth, which was yesterday, mm -hmm. they launched uh, an online service called EBSCO, E B S C O. All right, and EBSCO gives uh, access to an online library service, which is called Alexandria. And uh, one of my one of my friends told me that she found out about Alexandria when she um, in her later years of studying, and she was saying if she had known that there was this wealth of information just there at your fingertips Ready to it would discovered. have made her her so journey much so much easier yeah, i know yeah so i am particularly excited about that and i i am sure that a lot of persons who are studying or who are um hoping to go study they now know that they have this um this service that's available to them all right next up we're gonna head to Teachers and counselors, yes. mm -hmm. they're receiving training. Yes. Well, that they, wrapped up yesterday. It wrapped up, yes. No. Okay. It wrapped up yesterday. And um, the the training, it, it was a part of the COVID-19 response program. Yeah. yeah. And this COVID -19 program... COVID-19 and other disasters, right. other hazards. Yes. Yeah. Including and, the last of free eruption. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, a part of that program is uh, giving support to the learning community mm -hmm. and um, vulnerable populations. Mm -hmm. And well, St. Vincent and Grenadines. support. Yes. And so St. Vincent uh, and Grenadines falls into that heavily. Yeah. Because yeah. it's funded by the Inter American Development Bank and mm -hmm. the CDB. And the CDB. This is part of their, yes. <clears throat> their response to mm -hmm. these, these shocks, as yeah. you would put it. Um, so this wrapped up yesterday, mm -hmm. and um, so know, they had fifty it, teachers and fifty counselors, mm -hmm. and um, well, it, I I kind of was questioning why um, why did we need to have um, teachers? The teachers, yeah, definitely. But then uh, the I'm saying line, the teachers, the first yeah, line. yeah, 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 teachers the first are line. really, and then the, some of the teachers also experienced, um, you know. They need the psychosocial help yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah. So it's good for them to, to learn how to do it and how to accept help and, and to pinpoint whatever they need to pinpoint in their students to, mm -hmm. to offer some assistance and help. All right, let's move on. We're going up to Sandy Bay this Sunday. Okay, so in case you forgot, this coming Sunday is the 9th of April. <laughs> Two years yes. ago, on April 9th, mm -hmm. the volcanic eruptions began, and it was it was um, it was a trying period, especially mm -hmm. for the people above the dry river and people in the north generally. You know, just not just windward but leeward side as well. But the Ecclesia Gospel Band out of um, North Windward, they are putting on a massive. Uh, Thanksgiving concert to commemorate uh, the uh, eruption on the 9th of April. Uh, that's a rise and give thanks. You gotta look out for this a volcanic memorial Thanksgiving concert with uh, guest artists like Tajo and uh, the Sandy Bay School Band, secondary school band. They have Andres Bascom, they have the Roberts Trio, Sandy Bay Government School. Otto Essin and uh, a whole lot of other people coming through. So you got to check that out. It's at 3 o'clock, free at London Playing Field this Sunday. I rise right. and give thanks. It's Ecclesia Gospel Band out of the North Windward. And um, we might hear from them this morning, actually. So look out for that. Yeah. All right. Uh, All right. So April is National Child Abuse and Prevention Month. And the division of the child De development division within the Ministry of National Mobilization launched uh, their month of activities yesterday, and it was held at the French's house. And we have there were well, I um, I attended, and mm -hmm. they had uh, 
speeches from a young man from the St. Martin Secondary School, which I'm sure Chevrolet will be proud of. That's his alma mater. And there was the, the president of the Preschool Association who spoke of uh, letting children learn about God early on in their life so it can help them to develop holistically. Mm -hmm. And there's also there was also a presentation from the permanent secretary, uh, Mrs. Finch Book, mm -hmm. and um, she spoke of uh, some achievements, I think, that the ministry is... Um, the ministry had and we'll hear more about those um because our guest this morning yeah. is from that division so they're also getting ready to launch a, a mentorship program for yes. boys uh, yes. later on in the month to, mm -hmm. to, to commemorate the month of act activities for mm -hmm. child abuse awareness month yes. and uh, just by way of information you can contact the police and whatever authorities you deem necessary if you know of or suspect of any child or children that mm -hmm. are living in abusive situations. Okay? It's our right. civic duties. Yes. Our, our, our responsibility to take care of our children. All right. So, uh, we have Camille. <laughs> yes. She's backstage, she... <laughs> ready to come in. All right, we're going to chat yes. with her. Yes, we'll chat with her when we get back. Attention Vincentians, the 2023 population and housing census is on. They're counting you, they're counting me. Census day is June 15th, 2023. The data collection period runs from June 16th to September 15th, 2023. Your cooperation with the enumerators is vital. Do not turn them away. Give truthful information. The information collected will benefit the whole country. Remember, on this we must be united. Stand up and be counted. Stand up and be counted. Are you tsunami ready? Be tsunami ready. Exercise Caribbean wave. Tsunamis can be very dangerous, happen at any time, and may last for hours. It is always tsunami season in the Caribbean. We all need to be prepared. Know the natural warning signs. A strong or long earthquake, sudden rise or fall of the sea level, or roar from the sea should be considered a tsunami warning. Self-evacuate. You also need to understand official alerts and know how they will reach you. Tsunami exercises help prepare us to be ready for the next tsunami. Since 2011, the regional Caribbean wave exercise is held every March. Everyone is invited to participate. Test communications, organize or join a tsunami educational activity or drill, meet with your emergency manager, learn and practice what to do and where to go. You can also watch tsunami preparedness videos, review your evacuation map, put together a preparedness kit, or create a response plan. Register today on tsunamizone.org and participate in Caribbean Wave. Be tsunami ready.
Welcome back. Like we said before the break, we are talking child abuse, awareness and prevention. And in studios with us this morning is Miss Camille McIntosh and we're going to have a, a little conversation and, and chat about all things um, happening within the Ministry of National Mobilization this month. Welcome to our program. Morning. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. So uh, child abuse and uh, child abuse and prevention awareness yes, and prevention. um yes so let's talk why why is april dubbed um that well the month of april is termed child abuse awareness and prevention month and we have activities um during, during the month that we would make persons aware of child abuse um its dangers how we can prevent it how we can work together to prevent it all right, and uh, the the Ministry of National Mobilization naturally spearheads uh, anything related to child abuse and uh, well, the social well, um, network um, in involving all those things, GBV and 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 the likes. So let's delve in now. Um, you know, it's a, it's a pretty sensitive um, subject to talk about, but let's talk about persons who are experiencing abuse and what avenues does the Ministry of National Mobilization or the, the Child Division provide for those persons? Right. So within the Ministry of National Mobilization, the, the, the division where I work is the Child Development Division. All right. And we really um, deal with all the reports of child abuse. So whether you call or you come in in person, which you can make a report anonymously. We don't need a name or a, you know anything. You can just, once you see, you suspect, or you know that a child is being abused, you come in and you talk to us. Let us know what is happening, where this child is, how we can reach this child so that we can help, you know, prevent child abuse. All right, and um, well, with, with children, it may be um, extra sensitive because they are, they're not adults, so you have to get adult permission to speak to them about um, the abuse. How do you handle a, a situation like that? Or how would you advise a child um, who is in that position to, to come forward and, um, and basically accuse the accuser? <laughs> okay, so... Children, we, we do encourage them to come forward, whether it's to talk to um, a parent, a guardian, a teacher, um, your pastor, nurse, doctor, because these persons are mandatory reporters, right? Those persons, once they know that a child has been abused, they have to report. And once a child knows a trusted adult, you know, that they can talk to, they come forward, they say something to them, and it's then reported to us or the police. Um, we deal with it at that point. So we do encourage children to speak up. Don't don't hide. Don't hide the abuse, don't hide for your abuser. We are here to help and we do encourage to speak up as much as possible. Making children aware. aware. Yes. Okay, so we do go into the schools, we talk to children, um, we have sessions with them and talk to them about the danger of abuse, you know, what to look out for, who they, who they should report to. Right? So we do meet them on that one on one basis. Right? 
um, let's say that there's a child this morning um, listening to this program or seeing this program and um, that child is being abused whether it's male or female um, or they, they suspect in their mind that this may be an abusive situation what pointers would you give them to look for for them to know to themselves yes this i am being abused and i need to report this it's first thing you must realize that it is wrong whatever that um that adult or that person is doing to you if you feel within yourself that it's not right um you would also well as a child you would you would know that you are being abused because it is deliberate. It's not something to correct uh, behavior. So you have marks on your skin for physical abuse, or that person is abusing you sexually in that they're, they're doing things to your body and they're telling you not to say anything. They, they want you to hide it. Um, emotional abuse, they are telling you things to degrade you, to you know, make you feel bad about yourself. Um, emotional and psychological abuse. They're neglecting or abandoning, abandoning you. They're leaving you without food, health, um, clothing. They're leaving you home alone for long periods of time. Um, there's also the financial abuse, which we term locally as not paying maintenance. You know, um, you're not getting the monies to go to school, to buy food, to you know, pay your transportation to get your books for school. All of that you would look out for and term as abuse. So you would know, okay, this is happening to me and I need to report it. Right. You, interestingly, you said um, a while ago about uh, financial abuse right. and um, in terms of not supporting a child going to school. Yeah. So, so that means that parents are also um, guilty of mm -hmm. um, abusing their children. Yeah. That how how do you? And it it it, it borders neglect yes. that, that financial abuse. Um, and it is also quoted in our Children Care and Adoption Act of 2010 that you know that parent who refuses to give the child oh, the child is not behaving properly, so I'm not gonna give them money to go to school. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna buy the uniforms and the books. But it's a part of it's you know it's abuse you're not giving them the opportunity to further their education or try to at least right all right so um yesterday um you launched the month of activities for for child's month uh, well child, child abuse. abuse and prevention month mm -hmm. so let's talk about some of the things that we can look forward to within this month okay so as i said we would do all awareness programs would go into the schools um, talk to the children. Today we have um, the mentorship program at Liberty Lodge Boys Training Center for the boys. We have exhibitions. We would have our foster care drive where persons in the communities can come to sign up to be a foster guardian. Right? We would also pair with the sexual offenses unit. I think they have a march and rally in Beckway at the end of the month. Right? So, we, we would do different things that would bring awareness um, to let persons understand and know what is child abuse and how we can prevent it together. All right. And um, you spoke of what's happening later today, uh, mentorship for boys. Let's talk mm -hmm. about the importance of having positive mentors for, for young men especially. Right. Because we, we need to have our young men to do better in society. So we need to have that positive, uh, well, those persons who would give them some positive outlook on life. So we, we are um, endeavoring to pair them with persons who would be able to mentor them and mold them, help to mold them into better young men. All right, so uh, Ms. McIntosh, the, you have, well, we have the month of activities and we, we spoke of how you can, um, you can report abuse and, and if you see it, it's your civic duty to, to report it. Uh, let's say we get to the reporting stage, somebody um, wants to come into your office, um, mm -hmm. but they're, they're afraid of, of somebody, their neighbor probably seeing them and they don't know 
the ins and outs of, of the office. How do you go about reporting it to you? Okay, so you can actually come into the office to report. You, t you can go to your nearest police station or you can call. Um, you can call through the PBX line 4561111, ask for extension 502. We also have a cell phone number 4936569. Um, you don't have to give your name, like I said before. You, once you know the child's whereabouts, the child's name, how we can reach that child. Um, what did you see? What did you suspect? So that we know going forward how we can help that child. All right. And something that, that struck me um, while uh, preparing for this and, and um, is the, the law and knowing the laws as it relates to um, child abuse um, prevention and child protection. Yeah. Um, how important do you think it is for us as uh, individuals or parents or teachers to learn these laws and learn what options are available. Right. It is very important and like I mentioned there is the Children Care and Adoption Act which guides, um, well, guides us in the ministry as to how to deal with um, child abuse. So what we should look forward, um, what we should look for um, what next? After you report, you know, there is the investigation stage, which um, parents tend to figure, you know, we don't have the right to do certain things. And we do have the right at that point, what's, once it is reported to us, to investigate, to find out what's happening to that child, how we can protect that child. Because at the end of the day, it is in the best interest of the child. that We have to protect him or her, right? And the, the act, it, the legislation gives us that guidance. What happens after that, after the investigation stage? What do we do with the child? You know, do we have to go to court? Do we have to um, place that child in another home? Or if we work along with the, the family, what do we do next? And then eventually reintegration. Because we won't take the child away forever. We have to then work with them, work with the family, to have them reintegrated and to be better as a family together. All right. And as we, we talk of reintegration, then mm -hmm. and earlier we spoke of offering psychosocial support to, um, to persons who are affected by natural disasters. Okay. But I am assuming that persons who are in these positions or who are being abused mm -hmm. need some sort of um, psychological help and so on. Mm -hmm. How, how does um, your department or division help in that regard? Well, in that regard, um, so as we say, once we identify that whole situation where the child has been abused and all of that, then we tend to, you know, refer to counselling. Because you would need some counselling, depends on what would have happened. And it wouldn't just be for the child, it would be for the family. Because we have to then work with them as a family unit so that we make them better. Um, at the end of the day, we need them to be more better with each other and work along with each other. Right. And uh, reintegration, if a child is taken away from, from um, a situation mm -hmm. and, and you have to now reintroduce that child back into, into that family, yeah. do you, what, what's the process like? Do you, do you take the abuser out or, or do you have to, to follow up? How, how do you mitigate circumstances like that? Well, the abuser, of course, would not be in the family unit. Um, but then we, as I said, we work along with the family to have that child reintegrated. Um, there are times, yes, that depends on the type of abuse, the, the person who, well, the abuser, we would also have to work along with them if we don't have to do the whole um, going to court and all of that. But we do try our best to see how the child can be reintegrated. So even if it's starting off with supervised visits and then we you know, go up to having them maybe spend a day together, spend a weekend, and then we would monitor all of that. So we would do our follow-ups to see what next, how, how are they interacting, and then we go from there. All right. Um, as as we come to the to the end of this, we would it be okay for us to talk numbers and um, what are our numbers? Um, well, it's still pretty early in 2023. 20. 
So let's talk about our numbers in 2022. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, uh, 2021 when we had the eruption. So there may have been some some persons who are at home with their abusers. Right. Um, how, how did you handle that? What were the numbers then um, compared to 2022? And how can we help to keep the numbers very low to minimal in 2023 and going forward? Okay. Um, well, in 2021, when we had the volcanic eruption, you had um, reports coming from the shelters, which we would have, we had to go in and deal with them there. Um, and then in comparison with 2022, the numbers, well, the reports, I should say, because the numbers really come from what is reported. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of times that a lot of reports aren't made. So our numbers would tend to be what is reported to us. And in 2022, um, I think we would have had there about over 200 reports, right? Um, which is just one too many, if you really think about it. Um, but in comparison to 2021, 2022 was higher than, than 2021. All right. So, so how can we, how can we as, as a, a nation, um, I, I think we are one community, we live in different right. communities, but it, at the end of the day, it's just one St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Right. So how can we help to alleviate this Problem. Problem. Okay. <laughs> um, we usually um, ask the communities to be that person to look out, you know. We have to go back to um, where we're seeing, we're raising, the, we are being a village who would raise a child. So if you see something, as I say, you see something, you suspect something, you say something, bring the reports. Um, that way we would deal with the perpetrators, you know. And once we keep doing that and everybody is seeing, persons are seeing, okay, so we are dealing with this thing, then we can probably get to have the numbers reduced because it would mean persons would be aware that, okay, we're doing something and we are helping children and children themselves, they're, they're not keeping it a secret. They're coming out and saying, this is what is happening to me and I need help. So once we have that, everybody working together, then we can help to alleviate child abuse. All right. Well, thank you so much, Miss McIntosh, and thank you for coming in. And we wish uh, the Division and the Ministry of National Mobilization all the best in the awareness and prevention campaign. All right. So it is our duty as um, citizens to look out for our children. And as the theme for this year says, we have to treat our children well. So let's treat our children well. All right. We'll be right back. Attention Vincentians, the 2023 population and housing census is on. They're counting you, they're counting me. Census day is June 15th, 2023. The data collection period runs from June 16th to September 15th, 2023. Your cooperation with the enumerators is vital. Do not turn them away. Give truthful information. The information collected will benefit the whole country. Remember, on this we must be united. Stand up and be counted. Stand up and be counted. Are you tsunami ready? Be tsunami ready. Exercise Caribbean Wave. Tsunamis can be very dangerous, happen at any time, and may last for hours. It is always tsunami season in the Caribbean. We all need to be prepared. Know the natural warning signs. A strong or long earthquake, sudden rise or fall of the sea level, or roar from the sea should be considered a tsunami warning. Self-evacuate. You also need to understand official alerts and know how they will reach you. 
Tsunami exercises help prepare us to be ready for the next tsunami. Since 2011, the regional Caribbean wave exercise is held every March. Everyone is invited to participate. Test communications, organize or join a tsunami educational activity or drill, meet with your emergency manager, learn and practice what to do and where to go. You can also watch tsunami preparedness videos review your evacuation map, put together a preparedness kit, or create a response plan. Register today on tsunamizones.org and participate in Caribbean Wave. Be tsunami ready. So like we told you earlier on, the Ecclesia Gospel Band out of North Windward uh, is hosting a Thanksgiving concert, Arise and Give Thanks, on Sunday, April 9th. That's two years after the eruption of the volcano, the Lassifre volcano. And uh, on the line, we have PRO of the Ecclesia Gospel Band. He's on the phone with us this morning. Let's welcome Mr. Jason Derrick. Jason, morning. Yes, sir. Good morning. How are you doing, man? I'm great. It's great Good to morning, have you. Good morning, SVG. Yes, yes. Welcome to Man in SVG. Ecclesia Gospel Band. Yes, sir. Give us some backstory on this band. All right, so Ecclesia Gospel Band has been existing for over 10 years, probably about 12 years now. Um, we are based north of the country, North Windward to be exact. We are basically a multi-denominational um, group of different church members, different churches come together, we play music, we minister to people around the world. I mean, we have done a lot. Um, the Ecclesia Gospel Band has done, a few years ago, their first album called Revival. And now we have a single, basically, that we'll be launching on Sunday as well. Um, called We Will Rise, all inspired by the last of free eruptions and all of that. Um, the Christian Gospel Band's main mission and aim is basically to see people come to Christ, to minister through music to the world at large, not just here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 
but we are basically missionaries for Christ. The word ecclesia means the call out people. Yes? Yeah. And you how many how many band how many members you have in the band? At present we have about 10 between 20, 10 and 12 persons um that are active members of the band. All right. Now, the Ecclesia Gospel yes. Band on the line, we have the PRO, Mr. Jason Derrick, and they're having a massive uh, concert at the London Playing Field this Sunday, 3 o'clock. I'm going to let Mr. Derrick tell us all the details for this <laughs> Arise and Give Thanks concert. Yes, yes. So this event has been long awaited. The people of North Windward, um, well, as we know, the, the entire country has been affected by this loss of eruption in one way or the other. All right? And after two years, we would have that we have been in recovery. Up to this time, we have not had anything, not, uh, not had any event uh, um, that basically would have given God tags where we would have come together and, and given God thanks for sparing our lives, basically, post the eruption. Yes? So the Ecclesia Gospel Band, last year, since last year we've been planning this event, um, so, but uh, it, it just did not come to existence. It just did not happen for, for more than one reason, all right? So we took our time and we sat down and we decided, you know what, we have a single. Let's take it to the, let's go to the studio. The single is written by the, the wife of the president, Mrs. Roseanne Batiste. All right. And it has been, it was inspired basically by the event, the, the experience that we would have had during the last affair of turn and after. All right. There are persons who has not been real. Um, has not gone back to their homes or who cannot go back to their homes because there's no home to go back to. All right. And we realize that uh, through it all, we, we are still a resilient pe people and we, we ought to give God thanks and praise for what we would have experienced and what we are from where we've, we've come from and where we are now. All right, so we are having this event on Sunday. Grand event. A lot of persons that we know are anticipating this event. And um, we are, want to make this a national event. Also, we want, it's something that we want to do annually. All right, that All sounds right. good to me. So it's, it's this Sunday? This Sunday, Easter Sunday. Couldn't be at a better day. Well, it's, it's, it's the 9th of April, the exact, um, yes. I say, yes. the exact anniversary. Yes. And uh, what time do you begin? We begin at 3 p.m. Shut up. London playing field. We would be featuring... Hello? As, as a, you begin at 3 o'clock. Is that the London playing field? Is it free? It's at and the London it? playing field and it's a free event. Yes, sir. Okay. And so... You you were you mentioning some of the guest acts. Yes, yes, man. We have persons like Otto Sien. We have Dual Cardis. We have the Sandy Bishop Adventist uh, Church Choir. We have the Robert Trio. We have even the secondary school band involved in this event. We have Tajo from Fancy being um, taking part in this event. And we have, of course, Ecclesia Gospel Band uh, doing the ministry at this event as well. All right. Well, let me give you a chance to invite everybody out on Sunday. Yes. So also, I want to mention very quickly that we um, would have food and drinks on sale. We have a t-shirt line that we would have prepared for sale as well. And uh, as people know, Ecclesia Gospel Band, the proceeds that we would get from these things would be to further the gospel of Christ. 
All right. Um, so they will be on sale. So this on time Sunday I want well. to take the time, the opportunity to, to invite everybody. Because Candyman, this is not just an event for people in Sandy Bay or North Windward. All right. The whole of SVG got affected by the last of free eruption. And so we want to invite you to join us in giving God thanks and praise for what we have experienced, for the fact that things could have been worse, but he spared us to be alive up to this day. All right, so come on out to the London playing field on the 9th of April, 2023 at 3 p.m. It's a free event. So I'm, ex I'm expecting to see everybody. Indeed. Well, <laughs> Mr. Derek, thank you very much for joining us this morning. And we want to commend the Ecclesia Gospel Band and all the other uh, collaborators uh, in this uh, wonderful event for Sunday. We do wish you all the best. And uh, hopefully we'll get some coverage going from the API or one of our affiliates. Yes, we, we appreciate that and we're hoping to see you there, all right? Thank you very much, Mr. Jason Derrick. PRO yes, sir. You're welcome. There. All the best. As a PRO of the Ecclesia Gospel Band, hosting the major concert on Sunday. Arise and give thanks. Yenka. Are you going to sing? You have arisen. Are you going to sing? If Are you going to go up there and sing? Well, you always want to know my business. We all know that you can sing. I'm just asking. If you're gonna be singing, the, is how how is that wanting to find out what your business is? Are you going to be singing on Sunday? <sighs> Are you going to be ministering on Sunday? What? It's like if you sing a song, it's do like I look like a minister? Ministry in song. Sabota is a minister. Have you ever? You've never heard Camilo that. Camilo is a minister. I swear. Jimmy Listen. is a minister. We have ministers. Let them minister. And you can minister in No, I'm song. not a minister. I'm not a minister. So, we have a prime minister as well. <clears throat> the prime minister can minister. Listen, y'all need to pray for me. Please. Hard prayers, eh? Because... I have to deal with this on a daily basis. Folks, we got to wrap it up. Uh, we had a basis. great day. Uh, we won't be back with you until next Wednesday, right? Because it's the Easter weekend. Yes. And, uh, Yenka forgot about Easter. You see, this is what happens when you are so consumed with work. Oh, the she holidays forgot about don't Easter. even seem like the holidays. She forgot about Good Friday. Yeah, like how he forgot to bring the um the madongo for me. Oh God! I will not about stop talking about good it. Good Friday, but it's okay. Good people do not forget Good Friday because it's in the name. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, have a blessed morning. Bye. Thank you as usual for joining Bye. us. Bye. Bye. Be Bye. Before before we leave, Bye. remember to subscribe to our YouTube um, yeah. channel mm -hmm. and follow and like our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And you can get all the the, the happenings you yeah. in the know. And be safe the for the Easter weekend, please. With no our Facebook. Vehicle accidents. Okay. Watch yeah. out for that. A lot of drinking and all of that. Going yes, on and look out please for our children. Simmer down with Treat that. them well. Yeah. It's the month of April, mm -hmm. and there are there is a month of activities planned. Even if it's not your child. Yes, right? even look if it's not your child. Them. Yeah, treat all them right? all like and, yours. And we should do this all the time, not just during April, mm -hmm. but all the time. Look out for our children. Agreed. All right. All right. Morning. See you all next week.